Now then, people, and welcome back to a buoyant Just Your Football show. Yes, Leeds fans up on a high. I know it was only a point against Wolves, but we're all feeling a little bit better. Of course, it was helped yesterday as Manchester United, the old arch enemy, were absolutely spanked, spanked at home by Liverpool 5-0. And Ollie's still at the wheel. He's still at the football club. It blows my mind. I'm happy about it. But this is, of course, your Leeds versus Arsenal preview. We're going to talk about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Manchester United tonight on the final whistle. I've got a jam-packed lineup for you. It's live at 8 p.m. Make sure you get the notification bell smashed. Make sure you join us for that because it's going to be a jam-packed fun show. Uh, of course, I'll have a watch-along tomorrow for this game as well, for the Arsenal game. So make sure you join me for that. All both of them streams are there now on the channel. So make sure you're going over. And if you could do me one solid as well, we're like 30 people off 7,000 subscribers. I said I wouldn't push this until we got close to it. I'm now starting to push it. So if you're new to here, please subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 7K, um, ideally after tomorrow. Yeah, we want to we wanna get it done whilst we're doing the Arsenal watch along. But this is, of course, your preview for that game. How's How are we all feeling? Look, for me, I know a lot of people will say, bring the changes but leave that to Arsenal. Arsenal are going to do that. They've they've got a big squad. They've got a number of top players who they paid a lot of money for that aren't getting game time in the Premier League. And as for Leeds, we don't really have the luxury of doing that. Um, I know some will call for Joe Geldart, etc. to start. Somerville, Greenwood, etc. Crez will get them all in. But for me, right now, we need a little bit of continuity. And what I mean by that is we need some results on the ball. Look, I'm under no illusion. This is going to be a very, very tough fixture for Leeds United. Even if they ring all the changes, 11 changes, 9 changes, whatever it is. Our record in this fixture is not great. Uh, we haven't won in the last 9 matches. 9 matches against Arsenal and only drawing 2 of them. So seven of them have been defeats. I mean, the last win coming against Arsenal, obviously, back in 2003 when Leeds United survived relegation under Peter Reid with an 88th-minute strike from Mark Viduka, goals from Ian Hart and, of course, the Judas. Um, so that's how long it's been since we actually recorded a victory against Arsenal in this fixture. And look, Arsenal have not lost eight of their last matches in all competitions. OK, they haven't won them all, but they're starting to click for me. Mikel Arteta, you could easily put him in that bracket of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Lampard, etc. But he's got a little bit more about him than, for me anyway. He's won an FA Cup. It's not an easy thing to do. Of course, Arsenal fans don't want him there, and I can understand why. But he's a little bit further on than, you know, some of the clowns that I've just spoken about. And they're in a rich vein of form. They looked very good. Very good on Friday night Friday night football against Villa, winning the game 3-1. I thought Emile Smith-Rowe was absolutely exceptional. Aaron Ramsdale looks like a snip, and our boy Ben White is really starting to click. But then three players there I've mentioned, I don't think are going to you know play. I think Bert Leno will probably start between the sticks for them. I've, you know, he's fallen behind Ramsdale in the pecking order. Um, you've got Martinelli and Ketia, Tavares. Um, this um, this just a player that, that might come into the side. And as I say, Arsenal have a big squad. Be interesting to see who leads the line because Aubameyang and Lacazette were both taken off on Friday night. I expect it to be Lacazette, but if he if he is injured or feeling it or a little bit tired, because I know you know. I think Jamie Carragher mentioned that, oh, he's got cramp or whatever, he's just coming back, etc. But maybe Enketia leads the line if it is indeed Lacazette that drops out. The back four, the back four for me is where Leeds can cause them all sorts of problems because Cedric Suarez, Rob Holding, Pablo Mari, Tavares, okay, the left back, maybe even not Tavares, it could be Kalasanac. And that would be beautiful for Leeds United. That's why I expect Leeds United to go with a pretty strong lineup. Arsenal will make a host of changes. Leeds United don't have that luxury. We have a number of players out. Um, and I don't want to see us make a host of changes. I can't lie. I want some continuity. I want Leeds United to get another positive result. If you think about it, guys, we, we get a point against Wolves. We beat Arsenal or progress, progress to the next stage of the Carabao Cup and then play Norwich. It breeds confidence. What we don't want to do is make a wholesale amount of changes, get spanked, and then be struggling for Norwich. You know, the fan base is... We're starting to feel a little bit positive. So let's let's keep that going. You know, we'll be looking to progress into the quarterfinal of the Carabao Cup for the first time since 2016. 
Um, you know, so it's it's a big thing. And let's do it. Let's have a bit of a cup run. I know we've got to concentrate on the league, but Arsenal will be there for the taking just due to the amount of changes they've made. Of course, our record isn't great, but let's go for it. But that back four, if indeed it is Cedric Suarez holding Mari and maybe Kalasanach, that can be got at all day. They'll play with the 4 2 3 1. El Nenny and Maitland Niles. I know El Nenny gets a lot of stick, but whenever I've seen him, when he has been in decent form, he's decent. Um, you know, Nicola Pepe will, will play, Martinelli, maybe even Martin Odegaard. He came off the bench um, for Villa. Maybe he starts him in this game. And then who leads the line? Could it be Inketia? Could it be Lacazette? I don't see them playing the likes of Emile Smith Rowe, Saka, Abamyang. These guys will be sat, you know, on the bench waiting to may maybe affect the game if indeed they need to. I think Arteta will make a host, a host of changes. Leeds United, as for Leeds United, as we know, an injury update. Calvin Phillips. Could he be back? You know, he's not played any game time. Maybe this might be an opportunity for um, Bielsa to give him some game time ahead of the league game. We, we knew he wasn't ready for Wolves, although he was on the bench. Maybe he puts him in. We know Aileen and Bamford are going to be out. We knew before Wolves, two more games, whether or not that is two league games, or indeed this is the second game and then boys will be fit for Saturday, fingers crossed. Junior Firpo could be back for Norwich. This one's going to come too soon. Robin Cock, long-term, about a month to go. And, of course, Rafinha. We still don't know the full extent of his injury. Well, I don't while I'm posting this out. Um, and I just feel that Arsenal's going to be definitely far too soon for Rafinha. So, as for Leeds United, I expect us to go with Melier in goal. I know in previous rounds, we've expected a host of changes. You know, Christopher Klass and loads of different... But he hasn't gone that way this time, Bielsa. He's looked to have taken the Cups a little bit serious. And I expect more of the same, especially because... We need to breed that continuity. We need to get positive results. Um, so Melier in goal. It'll be interesting to see at right back. We know Cody Drama's been ripping it up. Maybe he'll use him, maybe he won't. I'm going to say he doesn't. I would like to see him, though, but I'm going to go with Shackleton. I think at centre-back, we might see Charlie Creswell alongside captain Liam Cooper. I think Lorente may be resting. We know that... The, you know, his injury record isn't the bit the best. We definitely need him for the league. We have a host of centre-backs at our disposal. Creswell's shown against Fulham, against West Ham, he can more than deal with, you know, top-level operators. So, for me, starting, and I think he will, alongside Captain Cooper. Dallas will start at left-back because we have no other options. And I'm going to say Calvin comes in. OK, I did initially think Stroud, but I think Calvin might make this lineup just to get him some match, you know, sharpness ahead of Norwich. On the right-hand side, I'm going Somerville. I thought Somerville was great when he came on against Wolves. The midfield two for me um, will be Click and... I'm going to go Joffy. I'm going to go Joffy Gelda. I think he deserves a start and should get a start. Will it be Click and Joffy in there? Will it be Click and Rodrigo um, and Joffy up top? I'm not sure. It's very interchangeable, but I'm going to say that in midfield we play with Click and Gelda. Um, James from the left and up top Rodrigo. Of course, it could be that Gelda goes in the midfield, the high eight and uh, Rodrigo up top or vice versa. But I'm going to say, will we see Joffy? Yes, we will. I think Joffy starts, Somerville starts and Creswell starts from the under 23s. The rest will be a bit of the mainstay for me. Um, look, it's going to be a very, very difficult game. It's one that I'll be doing a watch along for, so make sure you join me. I think Arsenal make a host of changes. They're back for and Leno are not great, haven't been great for, for a while. Um, when I say the back four, what I mean is their replacement back four. You know, the likes of Holding, Pablo Mari, Cedric Suarez, they're just not up to it for me. I don't think I would take it. No, we wouldn't take him in at Leeds United, genuinely. You know, people hammer Cooper, etc. But Rob Holding and Pablo Mari, this is what you're dealing with, gash. Um, so the back four, of course, going forward, they do. Worry me, Pepe, Odegaard, Martinelli, Nketiah, Lacazette, whoever it is that leads the line. But I think we can get them defen defensively um, and hopefully, you know, we can get a positive result. I'm going to say that the game is going to go all the way. I think it's going to be one apiece and then we beat them on penalties and we can get a positive result from Arsenal. Because as I said earlier, the last time we actually won in this fixture was back in 2003. Nine matches without a win in this fixture, and only drawn two of them. So the record isn't great against Arsenal. But records are always there to be broken, and why not do it tomorrow night and progress? Progress to the quarterfinal. That sounds nice. Sitting in the quarterfinal, you get semi. Wembley, let's do this. Do you know what I mean? Why not? 
let's win a tr- trophy under Bielsa. Forget the league. Forget the league. Nah, nah. I'm joking. Listen, we need continuity. We have to go strong or stronger than some of us will probably like. A lot of you will disagree with me, but let's not make wholesale changes. Stick a few of them in. Leave the wholesale changes to Arsenal and hopefully we can get a positive result. I'm going to say it finishes one all and then we win on penalties. Fingers crossed. And make sure you join me for that. Make sure you join me later on as well. And I'll see you all in a bit. And uh, yeah, enjoy your Monday. Peace out. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds.